Hello everyone and welcome back to Movement. This week what we are going to do is continue our work in stage combat and you guys are going to learn how to faint. <sighs> Fainting is something that you will use all the time. It's used in comedy, it's used in dramas, but fainting is really important and it's really easy for you to get hurt. Now, what we are going to do is go over all of the different steps of fainting safely, and then you get to choose which direction you want to fall, but we're gonna teach you how to fall in a bunch of different directions today. There are several different ways to fall. You can either fall from behind, which means you're going to fall behind you, or you can fall in front of you, or you can fall to the side. And depending on the staging of your production, you'll have, you wanna learn all of them so that you can adjust and not fall off the stage. And maybe you're really good at falling backwards, but there's a couch there so you can't do that, and you're gonna have to fall forward. So what we're gonna do is go over each of the different falls. The first thing that you need to do in any fall is create a really straight line. Make sure that your legs are, your feet are underneath you, right? You are in a very aligned space. And then what you're going to do is squat down. Now, if you are squatting down on your heels, then you are going to be falling backwards. But if you squat down and your heels come up, then what you wanna do is protect your knees. And when you fall that way, you're going to be falling forward or to the sides. If you fall backwards, your heels should carry the weight and you're going to squat down as low as you possibly can. You wanna make sure that the space between your butt and the floor is as small as possible because you're still gonna to have to fall down a little bit, but you wanna cushion it as much as possible. So when you first start to fall, in order to signal to your audience that you're fainting, usually, especially if it's a comedy, you will bring your hand up to your head and really what you're doing there is you're bringing your audience's attention here so that they're not going to see the other things that you're doing. So when you fully squat down, if you're falling backwards, you're gonna squat down as low as you can, and then you're going to use your opposite hand to place underneath you and cushion that fall for the rest of the way. Once you get there, then you just kind of sprawl out and unfold and make sure that your body is in a broken position. The broken position tells your audience that you have fallen. In Family Guy, they just go from standing to falling and the audience still gets it. And really that's kind of what you're doing, but what you're doing is giving a fluid and flowing motion to that move. If you are falling forward or to the side, then what you are going to do is as you go down, you're going to lift your, your, your heels are going to come up off the ground. So if you find yourself squatting and your heels can't stay on the ground, they want to come up no matter what you do, then you know that you're going to have to have a modified fall that's either going to have to be forward or to the side. If you're falling forward, now the, the, problem with this one is that you're you really want to protect your knees and in order to do that you're going to have to counteract the weight of the squat so as you are going down you yourself your upper body your knees are going forward right your knees are going forward and as they're going forward you have to counteract the weight by leaning back and as you lean back you're counteracting that weight and you can stay balanced and what you wanna do is see how close you can get and how smooth and how much control you can get on pulling yourself all the way down so that you gently rest your knees on the floor. You want to be gentle. The first few times you practice this, your knees will probably hit the ground pretty hard. This is not good. It may not be a big problem if you're only falling once, but if you're gonna fall for a show and it's gonna keep going, that small bruise by show 50 is gonna put you in the hospital. We don't want that. So what you wanna do is have control over your body and your instrument. So you're trying to get yourself to where you can gently rest your knees on the floor 
from there. Then if you're falling forward, you will fall forward and you will place your hands and your hands in a push-up position and you'll be on all fours and then you will slowly lower your, your, yourself as though you were doing a push-up, lowering yourself to the ground and as you do, you are going to use that pressure to spread your body out into the dead man's pose. So it's a three-step process. First, you got to get your knees to the ground, then you got to fall onto all fours, and then you unfold into the dead body. And that is how you're going to fall forward. If you are falling to the side, you are going to lower your knees gently to the ground, and then you have to get to your side which means your butt has to go to the ground. So what you're going to do is the same kind of thing that you did when you were lowering your knees. You have to counteract the weight. Well, your butt needs to go to the ground. So your butt is going to shoot one way and your hands are going to shoot another. And that's going to counteract the weight. But as this happens, you're still gonna fall. So what you wanna do is take the hand that your audience isn't going to miss as much and you're going to sneak that back to help lower you down safely. Once you do, then you just lay down almost as though you were at a picnic and you're just laying on the field. What you want to do is practice this a bunch. The big part of practicing is going to be the squats. So today, your legs are going to be sore. So practice going up and down, up and down, and see which one you feel the best at. Never go fast. That's the biggie. Speed is the enemy. Speed is how you get hurt. So make sure that you don't rush it. Make sure that you are in control of your body always. All right, everybody, what I want you to do is upload a recording of you fainting in each of the different directions. I want you to upload it so I can see it and I can make sure that you're doing it safely. If not, I will try to help you and guide you through, even if it's a Zoom session or if it's in real, if it's if face to face, I'll be able to see you. But I want you to be able to faint, to fall, to hit the ground and not be injured. All right, everybody, I can't wait to see your videos and I'll see you soon.